bumpy one. Fiona Irving, BBC Southeast Today. Well, what a very happy story. Many congratulations to the newlywe newlyweds. Right, let's get a check on the weather now with Nina. And Nina, it's a wintry weekend ahead. Yes, it is. It's going to be staying cold for us this weekend. We're continuing with that theme, mist, fog, and frost and certainly had all of that in the mixture through the day today for some of us the mist and fog did clear for a time to give us something a little brighter and in fact you can see my weather watchers pictures here across the north downs the fog but blue skies sitting just above and even as we've gone through this evening that fog has started to reform as it's already turning pretty chilly out there so we will start each morning with temperatures sitting below freezing but the mist and fog should lift and clear so by the afternoon a little drier and brighter but it is going to be feeling cold so through the night tonight we've got a few showers to contend with as well now the showers mainly across parts of east kent where they're falling on surfaces that are below freezing there is the risk of some ice so we have got a met office yellow warning that takes us through the night and into tomorrow morning so starting tomorrow any mist and fog should lift and clear always the small chance of these showers across parts of East Kent but I think into the afternoon even those should clear away for many of us it's dry a little brighter to finish the afternoon with those temperatures of around about five to six degrees but where we get some breaks in the cloud some of those clearer spells they then fill back in with the mist and fog overnight if anything, signs that we could see temperatures falling even lower as we start Sunday morning at around about minus three or four degrees for one or two of us. But again, the mist and fog will clear into Sunday afternoon. It should be a slow but improving picture. But as far as those afternoon temperatures are concerned, well, highs of just around about three to four degrees. Although as we go into next week, it is going to turn a little less cold with a westerly breeze and signs possibly of some rain by the middle of the week. OK, Nina, thank you very much. Staying cold, thank you. And that is it from us for this evening. I'll be back with your late news update at around half past ten. Until then, have a good evening ahead. Bye bye.